Oh, she, oh, dear sister. I just wanted to say I admire that you, you know, own up. <laughs> See, a lot of people think that they are perfect. And then there's others who have enough common sense to be honest with themselves and realize that they're not. And we are human beings, but let us not ever use that as an excuse for us to, 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 to mess up or we end up using, if we're not careful, we use that as a crutch to, to, to do wrong. Uh, but yeah, we are human and we do make mistakes and uh, we have to strive to strive to be what he would want us to be. And when it comes to predestination, I notice there is a lot of preachers or I guess you can say some are preachers of what? Uh, they they go on to about things that they know nothing about, and they and, and, and they will never be honest with themselves. Uh, they won't even own up that they don't know everything. It's like it's too much of trouble for them to admit this truth. So here's the thing. You, on predestination, it's one of those topics that you could probably spend a lifetime trying to discuss and debate the issue. Paul talks to uh, Timothy about such things, you know, about arguing over words, you know, and things, you know, and over old wives' tales, uh, genealogy and all this, you know, you'd be surprised. People will, well, maybe not surprised. You probably ran across it yourself. And people will argue over words. Semantics. It's kind of like, why can't they get past this? And they'll probably be doing this until the day the Lord returns. So, I mean, they could be coming and splitting the clouds wide open and be coming and they'd still be doing it. That's, that's how stubborn a lot of them are. And they might be stubborn enough to try to defend themselves before Yeshua. I don't know what the, the, the deal is, but, uh, you know, they they got to they gotta learn to, to break loose of that. I know what predestination means, but I also know that there's so much more, you know, you have to look, you have to, it, 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 has, it goes so much deep in the Bible, I mean, because you have the, see, originally, the whole Bible was translated in Hebrew. Then it was translated into from to Latin, you know, and Greek, and you know. But you you lose a lot in, in a lot of the meanings of the translation when you go from an original language into another. You you kind of start to lose the definitions uh, of, of words and how that it was applied and in what context and. I think you understand what I'm saying. Well, anyway, a lot of them don't understand is that, like, if you, you know, because if they want to start using words, I mean, you, you be using semantics on it, I mean, it's, it's just predestination. You'll be arguing and, and debating that issue forever. Some things is it, just best to get out of, you know, if possible, and that's one of anything that that causes arguments and dissensions is best to get away from as possible, because uh, it, it does no one no good. It lifts nobody up. It just tears people down, and that's not what we're about. So we got to love one another. Uh, 
help build each other's up, think of others besides our own selves. Uh, yeah, you know, you just got a lot of that going on. So but the best thing to do is always remember this, is live for him the best that you can and ask for his help and, and, and seek his guidance and counsel. See, a lot of them don't realize that is what the Holy Spirit, what he is there for, is to be your counselor, your your helper, to lead you and guide you. But the reason why people sometimes miss it is because he don't listen to them. He advises them. They refuse to listen. They want to do it their way. But let us always remember to do things the Lord's way. But yes, sister, you got to always just know that it, 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 a person who owns up and confesses their faults to one another. See, we have to confess our faults to one another. See, a person who will do that, they're, they're humbling themselves down. You have to be humble. You know, not to, to rise up, but to be humble. And the Lord will end up raising us up and he will comfort us and he will help us and he, he it, it is up to him to give us uh, uh, recognition or whatever however you want to phrase that it's just that it's up to him and, and it should be him that lifts us up not us ourselves or our neighbors lifts us up it should be the Lord now uh, but the Lord is good, isn't he? He's really great. And and always stand to be a champion for what is right. That doesn't mean fight, you know, as in fussing verbally and, and, and tear someone down, but I think you know what I mean. That's what you have to do, to be a champion for the Lord's word and to to build your, your brother or sister who, who up who has been knocked down to comfort them to to be like Yeshua that love that he had for us and has for us show that love to others and here's the hard part even to those who hate you. Oh, yeah. Even when they are despitefully using you, spitting at you, calling you names, and backstabbing you. Yeah. Pray for them. Love them. Because he, the Lord is good to the righteous as well as he is to the, the unrighteous and vice versa. God is good. So show that love to them. Love like Yeshua loves us. See, because the one, you got to keep doing that and, and here's it with, you can heap coals of fire on their head. And on top of that, and whether they accept it or not, and they're just mule-headed, the ones who do wrong, they will pay for what they do. But our job is not to sit there and say, oh, I'm going to help you out, Lord. Let's get vengeance on them. Mm -mm -mm. No, we will love them. And you, you want to really get to your enemy to show that, you know, when they, they really hate you, even if they bust you in the chops, still love them just like Yeshua that's what you do that's showing the love of God for God is love read first John do that sister all the comfort in it but so to them hey God bless you sister and live in his light Shalom Ha-ho. Oh.